Hey guys, I have a great one for you today. I'm going to show you how to make a homemade, natural, easy antibiotic that you can use on children, you can use on yourself. Um, it won't cause any damage to your gut biome. It, it's actually a good probiotic. It's very safe. It's been used by pretty much every culture throughout history as a medication, and that is the humble garlic. These things are truly amazing. You're going to want to know everything that you can about this thing that is so easy to grow in your yard that you can have on hand as free, safe, and effective natural medicine. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade natural antibiotic that is cheap, easy and very effective. There's a lot of research to back this up. There are natural antibiotics in plants, uh, but one of the easiest to access and the most effective is the simple humble garlic. There is a reason that this was thought to ward off uh, sickness in the, type, the era of the plagues and um, in, in the past. It was always used through all of ancient cultures as a medicine. There's a lot of different health benefits, minerals, electrolytes, things you wouldn't expect in garlic. It's actually part of the lily family. Uh, it's a bulb, so onions, garlic, uh, leeks, uh, green onions, things like that. <clears throat> they all have health benefits and are all somewhat antibiotic, but they have something in them called allicin that is activated when the garlic is crushed. And that is very strong antibiotic. Now, you need to eat at least three or four cloves to have the equivalent of, say, like a dose of penicillin or um, an antibiotic. And the more you eat, of course, the more potent it is. And the great thing is you can't overdo it. You won't hurt your, your stomach biome. Um, it's actually a really good prebiotic, so it will help the good bacteria in your guts. And you can give it to small children. So when you get sick, before you take something harsh, if you want to try or if you don't have access uh, or if you've been sick with something chronic, untreatable, uh, this is something that you can give a try and see if it helps you. It does help a lot of people. There's a few things you need to know about this. It's really easy to take. Of course, it's best if you eat it raw because heat does deactivate very most vitamins and the allicin in it. However, it's really potent and strong and hard to stomach raw. So if you can't stomach it raw, I'm going to show you the best way to prepare it that will preserve the largest amount of antibiotic uh, component, even through the cooking process. But one way to get this down raw that's really easy is to drop it in some sweet fruit smoothies that might kind of cover it a little bit. V8 um, is a good coupler for hiding the taste. And also making a homemade uh, guacamole, which is avocado lemon juice raw garlic and some seasonings all blend it together and then you can just eat that throughout the day on different things and that will help you to get in a lot of raw garlic but if you can't stomach it raw some people can't and you must cook it what you want to do is you want to cook it as quickly as possible so that the heat doesn't affect it for very long also crushing it and letting it sit for about 10 minutes will cause the allicin to activate um, so that it will be the most potent that it is. And yes, some will get destroyed in the cooking process, but you'll still have enough of it. And the flavor will be mild enough to where you can just eat the whole fist. So what you would have gotten in, you know, four cloves raw, you can get in the whole fist cooked, but you can mix it in some mashed potatoes and it will be delicious and it won't be hard to take. So again, raw is best, but if you can't, I'm gonna show you how to prepare this really quickly in the easiest way possible to be able to eat a lot of it without destroying very much of the allicin so that it still has antibiotic effects. The first thing you're going to want to do if you're cooking this is to peel some of this excess skin off and I just kind of rub my fingers on it like this and it'll do that. Then I keep it whole and intact. Then taking the whole fist, just put it down on a hard surface and just kind of crush it. That's the easiest, quickest way to get the whole thing crushed. 
then you're going to let it sit for about you can take out the excess fluff here but you want to let it sit for about 10 minutes which will allow the allicin to activate in it all right then you're going to want to prepare a steamer i use the instapot because i can do it really really quick you're going to put a little bit of water a steaming rack and put all of your garlic on top of it we're going to close our lid lock our vent and steam it for five minutes let's do seven minutes if your pieces are not huge you probably could do this for five minutes and still get away with it because they're splitting open after seven all right they just came out of the steamer um remember that it's going to take four three to four raw cloves to equal uh, a dose of antibiotics so because we did cook this a little bit even though it was only you know five to seven minutes it is going to diminish its potency so you're going to want to double that to eight or more you can put more it doesn't matter because you're going to see like we didn't peel these because they're going to come out so easy to see they're already just splitting open and that inside is going to come out and it's really really soft you could spread this easily on toast or in mashed potatoes or just put it onto whatever food you're going to eat or you could just simply pull it with your teeth out of the skin it miles the taste down some so it's not difficult to eat and this is an easy way that you can get a lot of garlic in if you're sick remember garlic is a really good expectorant um, and it's got just a lot of health benefits and I'm going to put some of the research up at the end to give you, you know, the receipts on all of this. But this is the easiest, quickest way I find to get a lot of garlic in if you want to use it as an antibiotic if you can't stomach eating it raw to get enough. I mean, you could eat a whole clove like this really easy mixed in a little mashed potato or whatever your lunch is. almost forgot we have to give this disclaimer so that we stay in the community guidelines and tell you that we are not doctors we're not giving you medical advice that's why the things that i tell you that are healing are natural and food they are cod's medicine they won't hurt you this is something that you could just eat um but for people that have a lot of chronic sicknesses or long-term problems people dealing like with long covid or Lyme's disease or things that there really is no medical treatment for why not try it it's just food you know or if you're just coming down with a cold or starting to get sick and you want to boost your immune system this is something that you can do it's super easy and it won't hurt you so just give it a try see what happens garlic is an antimicrobial meaning that it is effective against parasites, viruses, and bacteria. According to Michigan State University, garlic is a naturally antibiotic herb that has been used as medicine for over 5,000 years by cultures from all over the world. Garlic is also packed with vitamins and minerals. A study published in a March 2015 issue of the journal Cancer Prevention Research notes that garlic contains nutrients like B vitamins, vitamin C, potassium, calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and selenium, which can aid in alkalinizing the body and prevent the development of cancer cells. According to the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health, the NCCIH, garlic is commonly used as a dietary supplement to treat health conditions like high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, a common cold, lower insulin resistance, and in cancer prevention. When garlic is either chopped or crushed, it releases an enzyme called allicin, a sulfur-containing compound. The molecular structure of allicin allows it to interact with bacterial cell membranes, disrupting their integrity. This disruption leads to the leakage of cell contents, effectively neutralizing the bacteria. Allicin's reactivity to thiol groups in bacterial proteins further hampers essential cellular functions, rendering the bacteria incapable of survival. This dual mechanism of action underscores allicin's effectiveness against a broad spectrum of bacterial strains. Beyond even its direct antibacterial actions, allicin also exhibits antibiofilm 
properties. Biofilms, which are protective layers formed by bacterial communities, which often shield these bacteria from conventional antibiotics. Therefore, Allison's ability to penetrate and dismantle these biofilms enhances its therapeutic potential, making it a viable ally when taken in conjunction with conventional antibiotics in the fight against persistent and resistant bacterial infections. Great for both food and natural medicine, this low-maintenance, easy-to-grow plant has been a staple of diet and health for cultures all over the world for centuries. So maybe today you should go plant some. I hope that you have found this video to be interesting and helpful. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time.